The disciples of Jesus were sad to learn that he would be leaving them and no longer be physically with them when he told them before he was crucified. But he promised them that he would not leave them as orphans. He promised them the Holy Spirit, his spirit, that would come and dwell with them. Jesus did not promise them a book or a Bible or anything else. He promised his spirit. We read in John 14, verse 16 to 25, Jesus said, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may be with you forever. That is the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it does not see him or know him. But you know him, because he abides with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. After a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live. You will live also. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him, and will disclose myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, what then has happened that you are going to disclose yourself to us and not to the world? And Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our abode with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words. The word which you have heard is not mine but the fathers who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while abiding with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. We read in John 16 verse 5 to 15, Jesus said, but now I am going to him who sent me, and none of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. But I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you, and he, when he comes, will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you no longer see me. And concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world has been judged. I have many more things to say to you. But you cannot bear it now. But when He, the Spirit of Truth, comes, He will guide you into all the truth. For He will not speak on His own initiative, but whatever He hears, He will speak. And He will disclose to you what is to come. He will glorify Me, for He will take of Mine and will disclose it to you. All things that the Father has are Mine. Therefore, I say that he takes of mine and will disclose it to you. After Jesus was crucified and resurrected, before he ascended to heaven, he spoke to them. We read in Acts chapter 1 verse 4, Gathering them together, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised, which he said, You heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. The disciples did go to Jerusalem and were united in prayer, waiting on the gift that Jesus promised. We read in Acts 2 verse 1 to 4, When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly there came from heaven a noise, like a violent rushing wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. 
and there appeared to them tongues as of fire, distributing themselves. And they rested on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit was giving them utterance. The bystanders inquired about what had happened, and Peter explained to them in many words, upon which they asked him what they should do to receive the Holy Spirit. Peter said to them, Repent, and each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and your children, and for all who are far off, as many as the Lord our God will call to Himself. Acts 2 verse 38 and 39 The Holy Spirit baptism, with evidence of speaking in tongues, is not only about speaking in tongues, but about the indwelling of Jesus, disclosing Himself, revealing Himself in and through those who have received Him, being with them for always, teaching and guiding them in all things. It is the fulfillment of Emmanuel, God with us, Christ dwelling in us, becoming born of the Spirit to be children of God, receiving and following the Holy Spirit, obeying Him, being taught and led by Him is integral, essential, vital for every believer in order to be in the right relationship with Jesus. It is not just a token or a symbol, but the supernatural unification with Jesus. We cannot follow Jesus if we have not received the Spirit. We cannot be in communion with Him. It is an absolutely essential requirement for everyone who wishes to become one of his sheep, hear his voice, follow him, and have eternal life. The first Christians did not have Bibles. They were taught the commandments of Jesus by the disciples, and they received the Holy Spirit. They were led by the Holy Spirit. He promised us His Spirit. Have you received His Spirit? Are you in communion with Him? Do you hear His voice? And do you follow Him? Are you one of His sheep? May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.